right guys, it's 6 p.m. So it's getting dark, but I thought I'd quickly share the villa tour before we mess up the rooms and whatnot. And it doesn't look nice and fresh. The main entrance Sorry guys, I just heard a gecko, but <laughs> the main entrance is, uh, entrance is there, you come in and there's this nice little mini pond and then up the stairs, the first room is the living and dining, so there's dining there, again, sorry, it's pretty dark, let's see if I can brighten it up, not really, okay, there's a TV there, the wood's quite dark, so, and if you walk right through, we have the most freaking amazing view and a private pool, which is amazing. And then that room over there, my parents are staying in. And then this room is where Conrad and I are staying in. I think there's actually another room behind my parents' room, because um, this villa has three rooms, but obviously we just need the two. But we wanted the private pool and then the beach at the back, of course. How nice. Okay, let me show you guys our room. We can go in from that way, but I'll go in from like the normal doorway. Walking up to our door now. This is where I started the tour, basically. Here is our room again. It's super dark. I've turned on every light so I can see. Okay, I guess it's a little bit better now. Um, so we have a desk over here, pretty large desk, and then we have the bed, and then down these steps we have another seating area, which is nice because you can sit to chill and watch the view, and as you can see there's more seating areas out there. And then back up this way to the bathroom. We've got the little closet area, his and her sink, ooh, another closet area. Here's the shower room, very nice. So, this way, oh, I didn't even check for geckos. Oh. I literally have a habit of checking every doorway, everywhere I walk, the walls, because there's geckos everywhere here. But yeah, so this leads to the outdoor shower, which is lovely. And here's to hang your towels. And then of course the bathtub. Standard. Got some rice crackers and some jackfruit crisps. Turmeric and chili and garlic. This looks delicious. Yum. And then there's Slightly salted cracker packed with grains, seeds, and extra virgin olive. Okay, this one sounds a lot better. Turmeric, chili, and garlic. Heck yeah. But yeah, other than that, that is our room. Sorry it's so dark. Hopefully I can film in the morning too when it's lighter so you guys can see the room better. But I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of us just arriving. <laughs> and it's actually Conrad's birthday today. We celebrated yesterday, but happy birthday, babe. Thank you. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I thought I'd show you guys the room with a bit more light because it was super dark last night. Sorry that the bed's not made yet but we just got out, just got ready, we're just heading for breakfast now. The nice little seating area, it's actually really spacious and nice and obviously you can open these doors up and there's more seating area. The sun's not quite out yet, still hiding behind the clouds but it should be out at noon. So you've got the private pool, the beach, and then the ocean. There's also a little shower there as well. So there's the steps up to the bed, and then more steps to the desk, and then the bathroom. I think you guys had a good view of the bathroom yesterday. I think it was light enough. But yeah, I'm gonna head for breakfast now. So I'll see you guys there. My parents went for a walk along the beach this morning, so they're meeting us at breakfast. We're being lazy and taking the buggy because this place is massive and there's like, it's a lot of walking. <laughs> but it probably would have been better for us. There's also bikes um, that is provided for each room. I don't know if you guys saw the bikes, but yeah. 
Okay, I can see my pants sitting over there. There's the beach. Here's another pool. And then the restaurant. This place is super peaceful. I friggin' love it. It's currently only at 20 to 30% capacity, so it's nice and calm and quiet, which I love. Every other time I've been here, which is only like twice before, it's been super noisy. Is but, that the um, detox juice? Yes, it is the juice. Okay, yeah, because ah. I also ordered <laughs> Conrad is the kind of person that will order like Thank you. a table full That's of okay. drinks, basically. Thank you. Let's go to the beach, beach. <laughs> Buggy here earlier. We took the buggy into the restaurant, but we decided to walk back. Beachside. Beachside, babe. It's not so hot. Yeah, it's perfect. These are the ones we're taking with us so far. Look how fun this one is. It's so cool. That is so cool. And then these little ones. Love them. They're so tiny and adorable. <laughs> Cute! <laughs> when I was younger, we used to use, or I used to use my dad's shoes to collect shells. We just got back from a little walk along the beach. We actually walked from one end to the other because I wanted to collect more shells. I love collecting shells. And then Conrad decided to bring a plastic bag along with him to collect any trash that we saw along the, along the beach. Good job, babe. We just got the buggy over to catch a taxi, which is on its way, but I thought I would show you guys the reception area, because we haven't gotten a chance to really check it out yet, because when we arrived, they took us straight to our rooms. Oh, it's Easter, by the way, so <laughs> it's like bunnies out here. But yeah, that's the reception area. Love how nice and open and chill it is. Sin ciao. Good job. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank Good, you. thank you. How are you? Thank you. Uh, we are calling the taxi for you. But uh, should you play a few more? Okay. Thank, thank you, you so much. We we'll just walk around and have a look. <laughs> when the taxi come, I will. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. There's a little pond here, and then there's an, a pool down there. Like I said yesterday, there's several pools here. So, how nice. So we've made it into this shop that makes custom shoes, which I actually have done before. I made custom sandals before. But this time I feel like making boots. And I think I'm gonna do these boots. I chose this red color for this main section here. And then this blue for the bottom and the little accessories at the top. I'm really hoping it turns out cute. I know it's like, kind of out there, kind of crazy, but I'm kind of into it. Conrad's making sandals. I am. What color did you go for? I might go with this for the sole, and the blue so this is for the somewhere soul. over there. Is it this one? Yes. Yeah. I love Thinking this blue, very pretty. That's fun too. Yeah, but look at all these ones. options. You can make literally any shoe type you want, and they have a catalog for even more shoes. And you can pick any leather you want. And there's a freaking pup here to keep us company. Hi, pup. Isn't he so adorable? Literally made to measure, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 
Bye, puppy. Bye. Oh, she just wants to show me her butt. <laughs> That's okay. That's the owner of the shop, by the way, and her puppy. He wants to go. <laughs> oh, hello. He the he the tiny bulldog. Oh my God. But he big. <laughs> yeah. Made to measure. <laughs> Oh, sorry. More men's shoes on this side. Some of the bags. More women's shoes. What's really cool about here is they provide six months guarantee warranty. So if anything happens to your shoes within that period, they will ship anywhere in the world. And one year for bags. So if you have any problems with your bags within one year, they will replace wherever you are. Good morning guys, it's Sunday today and it's Easter, so happy Easter Sunday. I don't particularly celebrate Easter, but there is something going on today at the resort. They're kind of, they plan something for, actually for anyone who wants to come, also from people who are not guests at this hotel or resort. Um, but yeah, they're having a little Easter gathering, I think, and there's um, an egg hunt, and there's also like a farmer's market. I can't, I don't really know what's going on. My mom and my dad booked it yesterday and kind of briefly told us, so we'll go check it out today. But this is um, my outfit. We're gonna go for breakfast first um, in the room next door. And I have my new Louis Vuitton bucket hat on. I have it on the pink side. I'm probably gonna wear my Loewe sunnies. <laughs> How calm is this entrance? I can't get over it, it's so pretty. It's freaking hot today. It's definitely hotter today than it was yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. Got some breakfast here. Conrad did burn his back a little bit yesterday, so he's just chilling here for a minute. Um, Cause it's freaking hot outside. By the way, I'm freaking loving this hat. Makes me feel very happy and summery. Got to lunch, guys. The Easter celebration gathering situation. <laughs> Look at this drink. That looks delicious. Freaking hot. The purple one, obviously. <laughs> my mom's walking around. morning or actually afternoon tanning and chilling by the pool and then we showered hung out with my parents for a little bit and now we're gonna go back to ancient town and I put on a cute outfit today so I can take pictures there as well <laughs> you're looking great as well babe so sunny right now yeah I don't know if you guys can tell but all the most of the buildings here are yellow which is really nice except these ones are blue I promise most of them are yellow in this area. It's very pretty. Can't see anything. The sun's like directly in my eye. Loads of souvenir shops and there's lots of cafes around here too. You can also ride sea clothes here, which is nice. Um, it is definitely small enough to walk around. It's a nice walk. Just stumbled across this little area. Thought it was really cute because across there looks like there's a cafe at the back. And there's a little souvenir shop. Cute. 
Lots of basket bags. Loads of dress shops as well. So we were here last night and it was so much more busy around here actually. It will yeah, definitely it get more busy later but yeah. we haven't explored the other side yet so hopefully we get to that today. But yeah. I love this outfit. Thank you. I feel really good in this outfit, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, especially like with the colors here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you look beautiful, babe. The weather is perfect now as well. It's like still sunny, but then yeah, it's cooling down finally. It's been a hot day. <laughs> but look, everyone's taking photos here. That's why it's like not awkward at all. I love it here. Yeah. Literally every single street, everyone is taking photos. So it's not awkward at all um, having my camera out. <laughs> I took a picture on my phone of this yesterday. I thought it was really cute. They've got a little dog doggy in there. But oh, the dog's right there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> He's like, no, you have to come to me. Yeah. Aww. It's a cute little boutique. Beautiful. I think they sell ceramics in there. Everywhere is just so pretty and photogenic. Here's a bit of the market that's open. More along here. Sorry, it's quite windy, guys. Oh yeah, more of the market down there. There's a lot of smells going on here. Lots of street food. My parents want us to find them bang me because apparently Bang me here is top, so we're gonna find. Yeah, like we passed a place earlier that had like a long line. No, thank you. Yeah, it was popping. Um, yeah, it was popping. It was it was full and there was a huge line, so we have to go back. I took a photo of um the address. Yeah, it's a must go for today. Yeah, and then here's some built rides. They're quite pushy here, but I can understand. Because of COVID, there hasn't been a lot of tourism, so. Yeah, tough time. We were wondering where the smell was coming from. Yeah. They've lit incense all along the river here. Found a cute coffee shop to have a little drink, a little break. So pretty. <laughs> Cafe soda. Cafe soda. Okay, I've just stepped back because it's it's a lot going on over there, but this is the place that we came by earlier and it was also really really busy So we thought we'd come back and check it out. They put like a lotus petal in there. I love the bamboo straw I like it. It's really yeah. nice. They're fresh. I'm just really thirsty as well guys mm. But this tastes really good mm. I could drink that all day. I got bang me with egg, lettuce, tomato, Cucumber, like the the special sauce. Can't remember. What did you get? I got barbecue pork. Mm. Right. They put chicken in yours too, right? Oh yeah, I got the mixed one in the end actually. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. mixed, mixed barbecue pork and chicken. So yummy. Thank you so much. 
Cute. I got a salt coffee, salt Vietnamese coffee. What did you get? Some ginger tea and an iced kumquat coffee. Interesting. Interesting. I just wish they came in normal glasses since we're having it here, but... Yeah. Wow, look how beautiful. Stunning, look at those dragons. Yeah, wow. The koi fish there. So stunning. Look at this beautiful pillar. The video doesn't do it justice, huh? No, it doesn't. The oh, the other side of this has, um... Some painting on it. Just admiring closer detail of the koi fish and the dragon in the pond here. You can see like broken tiles that they've kind of done in a mosaic sort of style. So cool. It's so green here in Hoi An. So we've been told that this is actually the best fang mi in Hoi An, fang mi fung, so definitely check this out. Anthony Bourdain up there. Oh, Anthony Bourdain up there. Very cool. We're about to get some fang mi to bring back. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's around 10 a.m. and we're just about to have our floating breakfast. Tin, who is um, our butler here, she asked if we felt like having breakfast in the pool today and so that sounded like a great idea. I've never actually had a floating breakfast before. The first time. Wow, this is very pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> what is that? We got So we got half-half because we had three options for the floating breakfast. It was like three different or yeah, menus. There we go. And so we got half a healthy one and then half it's called Nam Hai, Nam so there's hai. like some muffins and some fried sausages, bacon, ham. Yeah, um, so looks so delicious. Oh, more flowers. Very pretty. Come on. My gosh, so romantic. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this. Yum. I've just been sipping on different drinks. This is my poolside look for today. I can't remember if I've ever shared this room during the daytime when there's like proper light out. I feel like when we arrived, it was super dark. We just got back from town. I didn't bring my vlogging camera because it was completely out of battery, but um, I wanted to share my outfit because I freaking love this outfit <laughs> before I get undressed. I'm wearing, of course, my new Dior tote as well as the dress that I also got um, for my birthday from my mom. I freaking love it. It was a little bit hot, but actually wasn't too bad because like the material kind of flares out and stays flared, so um, very airy, which is really nice. And I absolutely love the hood. So I kept my hair up so we can see the hood better. And then for shoes, excuse the oily floor, that's from all the tanning lotion um, and oil that we've been putting on us, but these shoes are so uncomfortable, but so pretty. Even in the viewfinder now, I'm like, oh, they're so pretty and sparkly. Today we spent most of the day tanning, and then we went to collect some more shells, because I'm obsessed with finding treasures. And look, this is the best one. The best catch of the day. Um, Conrad found this one. And then, I love this one, I got this one the other day, not today. But today I also found a couple more of these, which I was really happy about, I love this one. It's dinner time and we ordered room service. Being lazy tonight. There's a, there's a bread basket, wow, what an intense bread basket. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even notice it until now. I haven't seen one like that before. It's Wednesday morning and um, I actually woke up, or we both woke up super early today. I woke up at like 5.30 because I went to sleep super early. 
Um, I just pass out so easy here, especially after a full day of sun and all that. So um, we woke up for a little bit, watched some stuff, and then passed out again. And then I just got up again. It's 8.30 now. I'm going to get changed into um, beachwear so I can head out and chill by the pool and continue with my tanning. This is so satisfying for me, actually. I thought I'd share this. This is um, Conrad's color palette for Hoi An slash beach vacation. It's like orange, yellow, warm tones. He's got more stuff in there. And then for me, mine are all green and blue tones. So much cooler colors. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this one today. Because this is my swimsuit for today. This might ruin my tan a little bit, so I'll wear this for a little bit. I didn't think about this. I, I guess I did, but then I was like, this is too cute and it's fine. I'll just wear it anyway. But now I'm like, because I have a really odd tan line from yesterday from the cat ears. I forgot to tuck the cat ears um, underneath, which I usually do when I wear that bikini. So I have a little bit like of a weird tan line there. So I'm like, okay, I need to make sure I don't have like 80 million tan lines by the end of this trip. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna wear this for a bit, and then this is the cover up for it. And then I'm gonna wear this afterwards for our spa, because we're gonna go to the spa later. This is the dress I bought in Hoi An the other day, or the other evening. How pretty. I'll show you guys better when I have it on. And I plan on wearing it with my little little way of vacate bag. our second last day to enjoy this view and the entire time we've been here I've not seen anybody well, actually maybe like I saw two people the other day going out for some over there but still super empty yeah so <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys I'm not sure if you guys noticed but um, there are no seagulls or like seabirds around at all my, we had a conversation with my dad the other day and he reminded us that, um, excuse me, I'm like eating my earring. <laughs> the town over, not sorry, the city over, Da Nang, is where it was like the base for the Americans during the war. And it's also where they stored Agent Orange. Agent Orange was like basically a, a herbicide, you know, that kills off any vegetation, um, which the Americans just dropped all over the south side of Vietnam up to Cambodia, that Viet Cong, you know, communist side. And it really had lasting effects here, as many people know, with the generations even till now. So, so that's why there's like a lot less fish yep. here. Um, so that's why there's no seagulls. It's, yep. it's like something my mom noticed, actually. She said, why are there no birds? I mean, there are birds, but they're all just like land birds, like little tiny ones, but not like big. Yeah, you don't see seagulls yeah. or any other types of birds that you would expect. It's so quiet and uh, we, we didn't realize it at first. Yeah. It's lunchtime. Decided to have lunch here today. So this is super embarrassing, but I just had to share it because it's hilarious. I don't know if you guys can tell, to me it's like super obvious, I don't know if it's like as obvious on the camera, but there is like, do you guys see these two triangle bits up here that look like cat ears? <laughs> That's why I'm bikini yesterday, I did mention this morning that I had these weird tan lines I've been trying to fix today. Honestly, I remember, when was this, maybe like four years ago when I was back here, I fell asleep outside in Hoi An as well with like a bikini that had a crisscross I didn't mean to and like the whole day I had the like I had the um, bikini undone so the crisscross wasn't there and then I tied it back up then went to poolside and then just passed out by the poolside I don't know why 
and I woke up and then I had this freaking tan line here for literally like half a year because it was so 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 tan and now I have these freaking cat ears like, this is worse for me like I mean it's not as it's not as um, I'm not as burnt as I was last time that I had this crisscross tan line but this is not cute <laughs> I really hope I can work on getting rid of this tan line so we're just off to our spa appointment now but I thought I'd quickly show you guys what this dress looks like on this is like a full long sleeve but I've just kind of pulled it down basically or pulled it up but it goes all the way down and there's a little thing to tie there which is nice it was like just under a mil, Vietnam Dong, so like it was like 950 or something like that. And all these rooms are all like private spa rooms, slash mas uh, massage rooms. It's just so stunning here. So peaceful and calm. Mr. Tao has just brought us to our spa room. This is where we're going to be chilling for the next 90 minutes. Look how lush this is. Hey guys, we just finished our treatment and it was freaking amazing. It's just like super quiet and calm. I feel like I don't want to speak loudly even though it's just me and Conrad, but... pretty dark out now. Wanted to show you guys earlier, we started the treatment in this room, right across. I didn't bring my vlogging camera because I wanted to fully enjoy it. I could stay here for a while. <laughs> There's the little bed. We both had two different treatments, but I wanted to focus on my chest and neck and back. Then what did you focus on? My back, lower back in particular, and my legs. Nice. I worked on your flexibility, huh? <laughs> yeah, I have no flexibility. <laughs> I think they used, I actually thought they were using like hot rocks at first, but then mm, she got me, me to too. hold one of them and I realized they were sacks. Like, really firm sacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and that felt really, really nice. Basically, like, placed them all along my back and my front as well when I turned around. And then along my arms and legs oh, as well. Oh, along my arms too. Yeah. Nice. Just saw my parents about to go for their morning walk. Oh, I think they're going to hit the beach and actually swim. So we've had a slow start to this morning. I woke up pretty early and then just kind of lazied around, chilled by the pool, chilled in bed. Um, I thought I'd quickly show you guys my bikini of today before I go for lunch, which is actually already set up in the um, living area, living room area. But I put a little flower on my head because when on vacation, you just gotta put a flower in your hair. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton twilly bow on my head today, which I really, really like. And then I am wearing my H&M mix match kind of bikini set today. Um, which I actually purposely saved for last because this bikini makes me look the most pale um, So that's why I was like I need to make sure I'm a little bit tan at least to wear this bikini um, and then I'm using or I'm wearing my Gucci pink Gucci sunnies today. I Did have my Chanel belt bag on but obviously took that off for the tanning sesh, but yeah I am obsessed, 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 obsessed. Look at the stitching, the stitching matches the blue. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I think these two new boots are like my favorite boots I own now. How freaking cool, and they are like a fraction of the price of all my other boots. <laughs> these are the second pair that I got made with the white cowhide and then the neon orange and the brown heel. So cool. <laughs> How's it? 
They look good, right? Yeah, I like the color. Yeah, I really like the color. Very nice. Do they, are they comfortable? They're a good fit. I'm now obsessed with customizing my own shoe. This is so freaking cool. I love it. They look so good. They work really well. Yeah, I really like these. My mom is deciding on some belts. She wants to get some belts made. Here's a close-up of these boots. They fit perfectly on me. And then these boots. How nice are they? Oh my gosh. Hi pup. This is my last day seeing you. How are you feeling about your shoes, babe? Really happy with them. I love the colors, the colors that you chose. So much really fun. Well. Look how happy the puppy is. She's living her best life. Look how cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty these floating lanterns. Lots of people are selling them on the side of the river. This is huge. Wow, thank you. It's just gonna fold. <laughs> Remember that program, Man vs. Food? Program? Yeah. <laughs> he can actually open his mouth and take a bite. How is it? Good? How's your fish, Mama? Not yet. Oh, you haven't tried it? Oh, you're waiting for your lemon. Guys, look how freaking adorable this is. We just got back from dinner and Tin surprised us with this little um, shell arrangement. These are all made of sh like these all shells. Enjoy a last night. Thank you, Tin. So we're all packed up. All our things are here. Um, still have a couple little smaller things to put in, but we still have a bit of time. My bag is here. I am obsessed with wearing these two together, the cover-up and the book toe. It's just so nice. And tied my hair up in braids. I wish, I wish I could do like French braids or Dutch braids, but I don't know how to do them. I need to like YouTube how to do them. So I've just done these like boring normal braids because my hair is a mess. It's just super frizzy this morning. And I think for our last breakfast, we're just gonna get a buggy to the restaurant and eat at the restaurant for our last breakfast here. For breakfast this morning, I'm having truffled scrambled eggs with hash brown and grilled tomato on the side. An and egg white omelette with asparagus, cherry tomatoes, and basil and hash brown on the side. Nice. We both got fresh juice and a cafe soda. And we decided to see, sit right by the water today, right by the beach. The lady was like, you guys want to sit in the sun? That's crazy. We're like, we live in London. <laughs> we don't get much sun there, so we were soaking up as much sun as possible but what a lovely view beautiful so i've come to the end of our hoi an trip what was your favorite part babe mm, maybe walking through ancient town mm -hmm. roaming the streets the architecture the whole vibe that was really cool and it's like yeah. it's seeing it change through sunset and livening up yeah, because we always go around like four, get there for like around four, so it's still light out and it's like quite quiet, and then it just yeah. livens up at the end of the day, like around five, six ish. It's nice to see. What would you say yeah. was your favorite? Um, just being in the sun, really, because yeah. in Hoi An, in Hanoi sure. right now, it's like a bit gloomy still. It's warm, but it's gloomy. Yeah. Out here, it's like super sunny, and I just miss the sun so much. And like, so glad I got some color back, but not as much as I would like. That's fine. Hope I can continue yeah, tanning. We really needed it. <laughs> yeah, we We'll go back to Hanoi or like in our next trip or whatever. But yeah, I really enjoyed it here as usual. Um, like I said before, I love coming back here. So next time when we come back, we definitely have to take you to the Han Bridge in yeah, Da Nang. For sure. Also, of course, had the most amazing stay at the Four Seasons Nam Hai here. 
It's just the villa is beautiful. Um, it really is. Can't beat the private pool and the and the beach right in front. So nice. Um, thanks to my parents for yes. booking. <laughs> also got a shout out Tin, the villa butler. She's honestly the most lovely person ever, and she's actually quite funny. Um, yeah, she's got a great sense of humor. Really yeah. taken so much good care of us. Yeah, and she just like she got to know us so quickly. For sure. Having only met us for like a couple of days, she just you know very attentive, but also like gives us our space as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she's just really thoughtful. And I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss. I love the people here in Hoi An. The people here are just genuinely so freaking nice. I just have such high spirits here, I feel like, and... Yeah, you can definitely feel that vibe from everyone around. The overall ambience is just so calming, but like exciting at the same time. Right, right. <laughs> I think it's because of like the atmosphere, the music playing in the background, the breeze, but then like the architecture as well, of course. Yeah, and the fact that like it's all walking streets, only the sea clothes that can kind of cycle through. Yeah, and bicycles and stuff. It's so peaceful and, yeah. and fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited to come back again <laughs> next time. Um, and until then, I think we'll just end our vlog here. We have like another 15 minutes before um, our buggy comes and then we're gonna head to the airport and then back to Hanoi time yep so hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with us in Hoi An and seeing what we got up to here and um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it leave any comments down below or questions you guys have about Hoi An or our stay here we'll be happy to respond to them and um, until our next video I'll speak to you guys soon, soon. bye guys bye.